What's up guys, Xavier Wolves here for Desktop Bodybuilding and we are back with another video and today we're discussing transgender former powerlifter and bodybuilder Janae Marie Kroc, formerly Matt Kroc and we're going to go into this because he or she, whichever way you look at it, I say she because she's legally a woman now, uh, put up this post just six hours ago saying they're making a comeback to bodybuilding. Let me read this for you, go, for you guys. Janae Marie Kroc, after much thought and discussion, I've decided to return to competition. I'll be working with Justin Harris, and my goal is to obtain my IFB Pro card. This was the goal I was pursuing when I was outed in 2015, and it subsequently took a backseat to everything else that was going on in my life. I am a competitor by nature, and without a specific goal to focus my training since that time has lacked real direction and intensity. Recommitting to this goal excites me and I'm looking forward to grinding away in the gym again like I was always known for. Above all else, the main goal will be to bring my all-time best to the stage, to be bigger and leaner than I um, have ever been. Uh, since I'm certain I'm certain many of you are wondering and I will, be ask, I will be asking, I'll just address it now. I will be competing in the men's division, in brackets. Notice I did not say as a male. Um, and this, uh, and no, this does not change the fact that I'm transgender, uh, sorry, but I'm trans, gender fluid, non-binary. This also says nothing about my beliefs concerning trans athletes and fair competition, only what I feel is right for me. So along with everything else that I feel is important to talk about, you can expect to see more posts regarding training, nutrition, and like that. Then she has tra hashtags transgender, hashtag transfluid, hashtag non-binary, all that sort of stuff. So even hashtags genderqueer. So there you go, guys. Uh, pretty interesting news. And I'm, I have to commend her for not competing in the women's division because I believe it would be totally unfair um, for someone who's transgender, who was a man most of their life to then compete in a female division because obviously the hormones are different and everything like that. But I guess I want to know what you guys think about it because... You know, a lot of these females that do compete in female bodybuilding or the heavy female classes do take male hormones anyhow. So do you think that it would be unfair if she did compete as a female? But I've got to commend her for doing that. And uh, she's had a lot going on. There's been, I believe, a documentary on her. She's done books, all that sort of stuff. So congrats to her. And I uh, will be following this story. And if more developments come out and we'll see how she goes. And there's no... At the moment, there's no competition that she said she's doing in particular, but we'll stay on top of all that, guys. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like these videos and the news coming out, you thick and fast, give me a thumbs up. It helps a ton. And also comment. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell button, and you'll be notified of every video that goes up from Desktop Bodybuilding and myself. Anyway, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the support. For Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.